Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and today I'm just gonna get started with this video. I'm doing a drugstore, oh, face using drugstore products. Everything is affordable, and I'm also going to be doing like a glowy look since you know the glow is coming back, and I'm really excited for this video. Just to get right started, I'm going to start with my e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer and just put this all over my face. And obviously, I don't have a cap for this because why would it? So, yeah, I'm just gonna dobble this all over. Now, before I put on my foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Illuminator in the shade Gleam just to give me a nice hydrated look since I want to be super glowy and just have like that extreme glow. So, this is just gonna really help add that and this seems like looks like it goes on really pink but when you rub it in you know it just rubs in to like give you a glow I mean if you don't want foundation on you can just put this and you should be good if you don't feel like you want the coverage or you feel like your skin's good that day and you don't want to wear extra makeup you can just pop some concealer under your eyes and be good but you know even though this is a natural look, I still need my foundation. For my foundation today, I'm going to mix the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 230 and the L'Oreal True Match in the shade W8 because I don't have a drugstore foundation that matches my skin tone. So I'm just going to mix these two using more of this one though because it's lighter weight and it is more close to my shade than this one obviously. So, yes. Now once I have all of that foundation placed on my face, I'm going to blend it out with the Real Techniques um, sponge. Now this is a, an affordable sponge, so that's good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this all in. Well, blend. And when you use a beauty blender, make sure you tap and don't swipe, because that's just gonna get rid of basically all the makeup that you put on. First for concealer, I'm going to take this orange correcting concealer under my eyes to get rid of the darkness because since that foundation isn't very full coverage, I need some extra little concealer. I'm just going to put this like basically right under my eyes and in the inner eye corner just to um, counteract any of the darkness under my eyes. And then I'm just going to blend that out as well with my damp beauty blender. Now for concealer everywhere else, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rhyme Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Pale, so this is really going to highlight my face and bring life, and this concealer is so good, um, it is bomb, but I am going kind of heavy with this, but um, I'm just going to blend it out well, so it's okay. And I'm not going to contour today, so I'm just going to put this underneath my jaw, just so that it looks like I did something, but since this is more natural. I'm not going to contour. Also putting this on my eyes as a base. And then like, oh I look crazy. Like I did with everything else, I'm just going to blend it out with this sponge. Now to set my face today, I'm going to use two different powders. For my entire face, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Powder, well, everywhere that I put that concealer. And in the areas that I put that concealer, I'm going to take this CoverGirl powder, and it is, um, fairly light for my skin tone so this is going to help brighten everything up even more so going in with that first um l'oreal true match powder i'm going to go and just for bronzer today bronzer today i'm going to take the physician's formula bronzing booster and i'm just going to use the brush that it comes with and it's like this. This is very difficult to understand. And I'm just gonna sweep some of this in. Bronze up my face. And this has a sheen to it. So I do not like this brush. Take my Real Technique Multitask brush. And this brush is very um, affordable. So that's always good and just bronze up my face I 
I've only ever used this bronzer like one other time and I'm actually I'm really impressed with it. Like I swatched it on my hand and it doesn't really show up well but on my face it's actually looking really good. And because I want to look super glowy, I'm just going to go like this with it. Just put that like that. Just going to help add some glow. And I'm not going to do my eyebrows today, so because I don't have any drugstore brow stuff, so my eyebrows are going to be natural. Now for my highlighter today, I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, and I'm, it's the Comfort Zone palette, and I'm going to take this shade right here, it's just like a nice champagne-y shade, and we're going to try to highlight with this. Now since I want to be super glowy, I'm just going to go right in with my finger, just to pull off as much color payoff as possible. And because I want a little bit extra glow, I'm going to take this NYX Liquid Illuminator. I probably should have done this before I put on that powder highlighter, but it's all good. And I'm just going to put this over my skin again, just to give me a bit more glow. Because I feel like I don't have enough, and this is a glowy look, and so I need, like, as much as I can get. And then just, like, blend it in with the brush. Now for my eyes today, I'm going to go back into that Wet n Wild palette, the Comfort Zone palette. I'm going to be using this Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. This is another affordable brush, so, uh-huh, yeah, you know, I'm working. Um, so I'm going to take this crease shade right here, it's just like a brown shade, and I'm going to pop this right into my crease, like it says for me to do, and just blend that out. And then I'm going to take the shade that says Eyelid, then get like oh let's see if I can get it close probably not it's all good I'm just gonna take this and just sweep this on my lid and now I'm gonna take that same shade that I used as a highlighter earlier and put that in my inner corner Because I just feel so bare right now without any eyebrow stuff on, I'm going to take my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. I'm sorry that this is not drugstore, but like, I don't have any drugstore brow stuff. So I'm just going to take this through my brows just to give me some color and just to fill in some of the sparse hairs. Okay, now that I just feel like five times more put together, I'm going to go in back with this palette from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take the definer shade right there, just on this little liner brush, and use this as like an eyeliner. You know, gotta whip out my Tarte palette. Now that I have that like eyeshadow liner on, I'm going to also go in with the definer shade again, but on underneath my eyes on the outer half. And I'm just going to keep it halfway like I said, but in the like inner half, I'm going to take the eyelid shade and put that on the inner half. Now for my waterline, I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Pure Gold. You guys know this is my jam, and I think it turns out so beautiful, and I just, like, love it. So I'm going to, like, you might not be able to see how much I love it, but I love it. For mascara today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Foxies and Maybelline Colossal for my lashes. So this is just what my eye makeup looks without false lashes, but I feel like I want some false lashes on, because I feel like I just... My eyelashes are super short, and I just want some, so I'm going to pop on some false lashes. These are just some random ones that I got off of Amazon from my aunt, so I'll be right back with lashes on. Before I do anything, can I just say how much fun this is, just to look at myself and mirror? Look. Yeah, let's do this way. Oh. Wait, can you see if I look at myself? I can see you guys. Ready? I can see you guys. Well, me. Really. Hey. Okay, I'm done. 
For my lips today, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Push Up. I know I use this all the time, but I actually love it, so that's why I use it all the time. So I'm going to take this and just put this all over my lips. Oh yeah, and I added those false lashes. So this is the end of the tutorial. I love how it turned out. I feel like it's such like a spring type of look, but it's all drugstore, so like everyone can actually buy these products and not go broke. So that's really awesome. And it's just like such a fun video to do because I get to test out new products. Well, not really all I've actually owned all these products so I get to reuse some products that I barely ever use and realize that I actually like them like I've like I said I only used that physician's formula bronzer like one other time when I was super dark so I thought it was way too like light, light for me but you know it actually is like my skin tone now and it actually looks really pretty so yeah, all the products that I use in this video though I recommend all of them because I think that they all are super amazing and you could have went without using false lashes to make it more of a like a natural look but you know I feel like I have no eyelashes naturally, so I like to fake it till I make it. So that was the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The subscribe button's either over there or over there or down there. I have no idea. But if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming for you guys, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, and can I say that thanks for getting me over? 60 subscribers like that's so awesome guys i never thought we would get this channel to be this good um i know 60 subscribers might not seem like a lot to some of you but it's a lot to me because i used to have like 20 subscribers for like a solid like six months or so so this is just amazing knowing that you guys are actually liking the quality of my videos now and you guys are so awesome when you comment and stuff like you guys are so sweet I really love the support and I just sorry I'm just like talking to you guys about how much I love you guys but thank you guys so much like the support that you guys give is just amazing and may I say that you guys are awesome you all have such great comments you all comment such nice things great ideas and stuff like that so yeah so if I never comment back to your like comment or anything like that um, I'm so sorry I try to like comment every single comment I know there's not that many but like I still try to comment to every single person because obviously I'm not shady like that like or I'll like it or something like that um but yeah I'm just here to make videos and show off my personality and my little touch of jasmine to the world outside of um my room so thank you guys so much again for watching and Bye. So here I am, just giving you guys a view of what it looks like with natural lighting. My makeup with, like, no ring light or anything like that because I feel like I want to show you guys what it looks like. So you can see what it looks like without any, and now it's not very sunny out, right now it's raining. Let's go to another This is just what my makeup looks like without a ring light. I just want to show you guys that. So you guys know.